Member for McKellar. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Energy and the Environment. Will the Minister update the House on how the government is guaranteeing lower energy prices and a more reliable supply through a national approach to energy policy? Is the Minister aware of any alternative approaches that will adversely affect the hip pocket? The, the hip pocket the of member for, The member for McCalla will resume his seat. The member for Perth and Chifley will leave under 94A. The member for Chifley and Perth aren't engaged in a sitcom. They'll be named if they don't leave immediately. The member for McCalla will begin his question again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Energy and the Environment. Will the Minister update the House on how the government is guaranteeing lower energy prices and a more reliable supply through a national approach to energy? Is the Minister aware of any alternative approaches that will hit the hip pocket of hardworking families and businesses in Bennelong and across Australia? The Minister for Energy and the Environment. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank the member for McKellar for his question and know that he strongly supports the efforts by the Turnbull government to create a more reliable and affordable energy system. The efforts that we have undertaken with the gas could supplies, could the member which for are Lindsay and others, more gas cease interject. Let the minister just resume his seat for a second. It's very clear what the member for Lindsay and others are doing in trying to mimic the minister from an earlier answer. <laughs> Frankly, no. Let's just call it as it is. You've made the point. It might have been funny the first time, but I'm going to be blunt back. It actually becomes really juvenile. It's not what people come to question time to see. The minister has the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, the people of Australia who want lower energy prices don't want the juvenile policies put forward by those opposite, Mr. Speaker. They don't want the juveniles in charge. They want the adults in charge, Mr. Speaker. They want the adults in charge who are driving lower prices and a more reliable system by entering into agreements with the LNG suppliers to, gas, to get gas supplied to Australians before it is exported overseas, to pass legislation through this parliament to stop the ability of the networks to game the system, the poles and the wire companies, to get an agreement with the energy retailers to offer a better deal to millions of Australians who are saving hundreds of dollars on their power bills to take the decisions to invest in major storage projects like Snowy 2.0 and projects in Queensland and South Australia, which will see us create a more stable system. And for the first time, the Turnbull government is undertaking the difficult challenge of integrating energy and climate policy through the National Energy Guarantee. It's taken the advice of the experts from the Energy Security Board. It's had modelling undertaken which will show the Australian average household will save about $120 a year, and the wholesale electricity price will come down by about 23 per cent. So if you are a big paper manufacturer, you could save some $10 million a year. If you own a large supermarket, you could save more than $400,000 a year. If you are a chemical factory, you could save more than $1.4 million a year. And that is why this policy has been well received right across the board. But I'm asked, are there any alternative approaches that would hurt the hip pocket of the people of Bennelong? Well, just two words. Christina Keneally, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Christina Keneally. Because when she was a power broker in New South Wales Labor, energy prices went up by 60 per cent between 2006 and 2011. That's not good news for the people of Epping. That's not good news for the people of Eastwood, Mr Speaker. And we know that the Leader of the Opposition, with his policy of an emissions intensity scheme, will see Australian average households more than $300 worse off, Mr Speaker. That is the policy being put forward by the Labor Party. So if you want higher energy prices, Support Christina Keneally, but if you want a more stable system, more affordable power, get behind John Alexander and vote Liberal in Benelong.